I was diagnosed with MS on the 29th of March 2007. It is a, a date that is forever burned into my memory. He was quite hard on himself when he first was diagnosed with MS because he didn't know the implications that it would have on his life. And when he suddenly managed to get the house that he's in now and see that all the privileges that came with it, he then realised, you know what, I can actually just try and be the person I can be and live the life that I want to um, as, much as, I, as much as possible. I was living in a one bedroom, first floor flat at the time, which initially was okay. And then as the MS progressed, I got to the point where it was clear that I was going to need a wheelchair. I think we could see that uh, Chris's situation was going to deteriorate, to be honest. Um, and we, we could see that he would need that property in, in the near future. And so we thought, well, rather than move twice, we'll get Chris into the property with maybe some minor adaptions. I think he was using a wheelchair part-time initially, and so he would use it. Um, but we thought, well, in, in, the, in the future, it would be ideal and he wouldn't have to move again. One of the things that's keen on my agenda really is, key, is that we let this, these properties to people most in need that really do need wheelchair accessible properties because there, there are not that many around and they really need to go to the right people. So as soon as we knew that uh, it was the right pro property for Chris, we were able to, to make him an offer. It's absolutely incredible to live somewhere where it fulfills all your needs. I understand the benefit of doors that are right, the right width. All the doors are the same width as the front door. Funnily enough, disability isn't a one-size-fits-all. And having to understand that, and the house has been created, has been fitted out so that whatever my abilities or otherwise, it can suit my purposes. I couldn't be happier than I am in this house. Everything that I want from a home um, is here. I live independently. I want to live independently for as long as possible. Um, and having to understand that and support that and support me in that. It's still so important that he's got his independence. I don't feel that it's a massive strain on me because he still can do what a lot of people can do with certain exceptions and that's the way it works and it's easy for him and it's easy for us. I am not ready to give up any part of my independence yet. My home is key to my independence and as things stand I couldn't wish for anywhere better to live. I couldn't wish for anything that suited my needs better. It is my home, that's all it is. <laughs>